What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Mike. What's going on? What's up, everybody? We are doing, Mikey. This is episode five of season one. We're almost there, man. This is our yes, rewatch sir. react. And um, what? Yeah, man. We have one more to do. We have this one and another one for season one. What do you think of that? Uh, well, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm glad we're doing these. I'm glad, really, that you're watching these and rewatching them again. And I'm glad that uh, that uh, you're you're liking these. Yeah, it's it's kind of sad that we have one left, but hey. Well, you know what? It's um. I, yeah, I mean, we're gonna get into some little, some, some details here, but yeah. it's they just they're just not doing this stuff that that anymore. Like this is like the stuff like yeah. for this episode, they're not doing this stuff. So, uh, real quick, just um, the beginning when he's he's talking to Morgan on the fo- on the phone, on the radio. CD. Yeah. Right. Like I thought, I forgot it. again. Every half this half of me talking is gonna be like I forgot about that. I forgot about that. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, well, he promised. You know what I mean? And at the end, you see the same thing. You see the same thing, at, you know. Right, yeah. Oh, well, well, when they were about to leave, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there were some notable things in this episode. Uh, you, had, you and I were talking off camera and, you know, the choices that everyone had to make. But before we get mm-hmm. to some choices, I just want to talk about Amy real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some real good stuff there. One thing that did bother me before I get into the good stuff is the fact that it took her so long to turn, especially since they've in fear the walking dead they were playing with that and according if you remember back in fear the walking dead according to um uh what was his name again troy yeah you know he was clocking all that stuff and so you would figured you know like the man like a large man in his mid you know 30s was taking this long right you'd figure yeah. someone like amy would turn fairly quickly i mean we don't know exactly the timeline uh, you know, we, well, it could only have been six hours, five hours like that. I mean, right. But the thing is, it seemed like it was a long time anyway, because it was all sun. And then they're like digging graves. Like, I mean, you're right. Like, who knows what? I mean, how long time. do you think Andrea can just stand there over her sister? Well, that's the thing. It's like, well, obviously, obviously she was there because, you know, overnight into yeah. the morning, whatever time. But um, one, one thing about that was that. So there's that panning shot of her you know uh, as she's waking up the 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 pan over amy's Mm -hmm. body like that was like that's stuff they just don't do anymore and it's and and that was that was probably one of the best of the season like one of the best shots how it pans over her you're talking about when amy wakes up she turns yeah when she when she wakes up yeah it's like starts down by her midsection or whatever leg whatever and it comes up and then you know and then andrea um she looked you know, really cool. She looked really cool too, uh, Amy as, and it, as yeah, with the contacts and stuff yep. that they had for her and everything like that. It was but, such a cool scene because, yeah, again, it's that <laughs> Rick comes over. Yep, Andrea points the gun like I'll I'll fucking handle this guy out of my face kind of a thing, which was cool. And that's the other thing too. Then she she shoots Amy in the head, but the gun was so close to her own head and face. I'm like, Rick, no, come on, you know, like. So it's interesting because you go back and you see this and you see how like they how what they've like I don't know that they the liberties they were taking in the first season and to what they are you know what I mean? Like some I feel like there's a lot of attention towards one some stuff but not towards other stuff and mm-hmm. at that point you're in the moment anyway. I'm like Yeah. Who even you know, like unless you're not paying like unless you're not really into it, you know, who's really paying attention to that type of stuff, you know that I don't know. But then I mean, again, yeah. <laughs> Having seen it again, you know that's why I, I'm nitpicking. But anyway, that was a really cool part of the of the episode. I, I enjoyed that whole part, you know, and yeah, just that yeah. despair and that and the tragedy. Well, it, was, it was a great turn. I mean, Andrea did a great job in in the acting. The scene was great. I mean, it's kind of bittersweet too because Andrea puts the mermaid necklace that she was going to give her on yeah, her birthday. Sad, so it's kind of you know? like Dale tells her. Yeah, they talk about Dale's wife, and he says how he really mm-hmm. cared for her and Amy, yeah. and like I mean, it's a, it's know. very sad, and I feel like again that's not what they do. I think we're going to get that. I hope we get something comparable now with with um, Carl. Carl. I think Carl. I think that's going to be. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be a redemption for a return for that. to form. I hope so, man. I hope. Yeah, I hope because so, I think yeah. I think Carl just just how the group and we talked about this, you know, Walking Dead stuff, uh, the present Walking Dead stuff, how each character is going to react when Carl goes, and we're going to see that from everybody. Yeah. How everybody's going to react with that. 
it, it, it is similar to this because you know further in the next episode and then in the future seasons of of the walking dead we see how everybody starts dealing with this we see how andrea deals with amy's death yeah and how everybody else deals with it. so it's similar in that in that way but yeah yeah you know you have glenn stuff there was just so much in this uh, like we spoke about with with it's just a, a choices episode. We're seeing how the group is now having to make some really tough decisions. They were in this camp. They felt they were safe. Now we have to who are we going to follow? Where are they going to go? Right. What's the next choose move? Shane's. Yeah. Are they going to choose Shane's plan? They're going to choose Rick's uh, plan to go to the CDC and um, with, with with you know you got some good stuff. You got how look at how Daryl was dealing with the bodies and stuff like that and how Daryl mm-hmm. wanted to deal with Jim yep. and, and, and um, Glenn screaming, we don't burn all, we don't, we bury our people. Our and people go in that row over there. It's, just yeah. a, it's such a characteristic of how Glenn stayed the same, but see somebody like Daryl, Daryl's totally different than the Daryl. We well, Daryl, because now he's, you know, yeah. he's a part of the family. He's a, part, he's a team exactly, player now. Yeah. Exactly. But he was also so, pissed because he says, he even says to them yeah. as he's throwing the bodies around, he's like, you know, uh, y'all had this coming. He's like, you left my brother up there. You guys had this yeah. coming, you know, like this yeah, is no. this because you guys no. are, you know, um, what about, um, yeah, I mean, real, let's just talk about Jim real quick. That mm-hmm. was pretty crazy. That, I, I forgot, like, he's, a, he, that dude, I forget his name again, but, you know, the, the, he, that, he was, that character was played really well. Yeah. I actually enjoyed Jim's character in his psychosis. Like, he was just, like, completely out of it. And he then he got. talking with Rick. On well, the... I mean, I mean, even before that, he was wow. he was like on those way out anyway. Mm-hmm. Like he was mm-hmm. digging the graves, and he's like, "This is how I want to deal with the fact that I that everything is lost." Blah blah blah. And then he got mm-hmm. bit. He's like, "No, no, no, it's mm-hmm. fine." And then he's like, "I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine." You know, like I just I just enjoyed that. Yeah. And then you know he's talking to Rick, and he's like, "You hear that? That's God God laughing at your plans." You know, he's like, "That's God laughing while you make plans." Like that's such a strong, you know, thing. And Rick was just like. Uh, you know, like, dang, it, son. It shows you, I think there Rick realizes the important importance of his role in the group now, that his yeah. choice is going to mean so much. Look at what happened. He might even feel somewhat guilty of the, of Jim being bit or Amy being bit because they weren't there when the, when the walkers first attacked. But right. the thing that I thought about, too, re-watching this is now Jim got bit on the same spot just on the opposite side of Carl. So we've seen uh, Jim kind of transform pretty quick, you know, in in that timeline and stuff like that. Now, let's see how long, if it's going to be similar with Carl. See how long they drag it yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Because like you said, Amy got chomped and she obviously turned much sooner than. Well, she also got Amy. bit on the, on the arm. She got chomped in the arm and the neck. And so the neck. Right. Yeah. So. Let's see how long they kind of. I just thought that was kind of cool because I noticed that I was on the just the opposite side of Carl. right. So it's let's a similar, see how long yeah. it takes. Let's see in in episode um, nine of season eight in The Walking Dead where and when Carl will 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 go in the first episode. Yeah. Will it be forty five minutes into the episode? Will it be ten minutes into it? You know. So yeah. it was just kind of kind of interesting. Um, let's get into probably the biggest uh, scene in the in the episode. And we spoke about this, and you brought this up, uh, the wood scene with, with Shane and Rick. and Because the, they were going into the woods disagreeing on the plan. I think you're wrong and this and that. And right off the bat, Rick says something to Shane, and Shane was pissed. About his family. He's like, you, you, he if said, it was it, your family, you would do the same thing. Right? He's like, so what'd you, you say? What'd you think? Yeah, what'd you think what'd about you say that? to me? Like, I mean – Obviously, Shane was looking for a fight. Like uh, Shane didn't have to w- with that particular line. Shane didn't have to overreact. Like he's contemplating shooting him for you sure. know. Well, 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 for for a number of reasons. So it's like, yeah. you know, he, yes, he was disagreeing, and he's like, well, the, you have to understand. So Rick, Rick just shows up, comes back, and literally just takes charge. And yeah. Shane was the one that's that was in charge. Mm-hmm. Now, oddly enough, like Shane, it's not. Shane was pretty good about it, if you think about it. Shane, for the most part, like stepped aside in these last couple of episodes since Rick's been back. He more he really has because he because he very easily could have been like, all right, hold on, Rick. I know you just showed up, but I'm the one that's been keeping these people safe. Yeah. It wasn't until this episode that he said that. 
That's true. No, that's he's true. Been, he's been pretty good. And, and again, that's a, that's a testament. Like, going back and seeing Shane now, like, yes, you know, I, in season two, he, he basically was like, he had enough. He had enough. Yeah. But up to this point, he was still pretty like, all right, well, you know, like, pretty level-headed about it. Like, for for a guy who's as hot-headed and as as strong-willed as, as Shane... You know. I mean, listen, in real life, before the apocalypse started, Rick was like the sheriff and Shane was the deputy or whatever right, it was, right, or yeah. however that was. So Rick was in charge. So I think in in um, in the I think it was episode four, it might have been three when after Rick comes back, Shane pulls up and like, I got the water like I do every day kind of a thing. guys. Yeah. Like, so you did see a little bit of of Shane in charge, like you, you know, like like we uh, like it's obvious, yeah. but it, it is funny that Shane just did take that that back seat. He just stepped aside, back. like they went into their old roles again, you know. Exactly, and even funnier is the fact that the people followed Rick's plan. You know what I mean? Yeah. The group followed Rick. The group divided to you know they still followed rick and they they could have easily had said glenn dale um andrea all these people could have easily said no we think ford benning would be a better shot i think i think it has to do with one that Uh rick shows up as the sheriff Mm -hmm. um two i think people are a little bit of afraid of shane even though they they they, i feel like they trust him but they still at the same time are like Mm -hmm. this guy's a little bit of a loose cannon um In the, in the, so like, you know, like we said, you know, Shane takes that shotgun and he's just, I mean, you can't blame him, but at the same time, you know, and then Dale sees him. And to me, I was like, oh, this is the beginning of the end for Shane, you know, like right there, right then and there, you know, that's when Dale's idea, um, and character of Shane was, was no more question. No, no right. basically question. solidified at that point. It was yeah. like, okay, this and Shane's mean, like, oh, yeah. oh, you know, cause Shane knew exactly what Dale yeah. saw. And Shane's like, oh, we have to start wearing reflector vests out here. You know? Yeah, like just it, as quickly as it could. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, um, it, it was just, it's just really interesting. And then to see some of, I mean, really from there, after everybody decides to go, we we start seeing some of the CDC and Jenner stuff. I mean, when was the last time you saw him? Yeah, man, I totally forgot about all that where it was him, and then how he like he messed up the whole thing, and they had he's the, working. The- yeah, he's working diligently every day, and he's trying to come to a come to this cure and finish what what eventually you'll see later on but um his wife was starting he says my wife was um the smartest person here and this and that i was just that was her wasn't yeah. that her sample that was her it was her body that he was working on yeah. but we we mean we we will learn that later well next, next episode. episode yeah we'll get it but uh it, it is yeah it was it was cool to see and it was cool to see when jenna's watching the group um arrive yeah. Through the camera. I thought it yeah. was I thought how he was like I bet you he's like ah, tomorrow I think I'm gonna blow my brains out I feel like that's something he probably said like every day to get through you know like to make himself mm-hmm. feel better and be like mm-hmm. I'm just gonna probably kill myself tomorrow so whatever and then the next day he wakes up he goes you know what I'll put it on hold let me but then again this was the day that he did destroy his samples so at this point he was like well I guess everything's for naught I'm just gonna end this and then Rick and group show up that's a pretty harrowing scene mm-hmm. you know um, I think it was hopeful for Jenner because before you know when he says those lines about blowing his brains out and everything how does he know who's out there and how many right. people are really out there at least he he sees these people at the right time. And thank God that he didn't blow his brains out because no one would have let them in. He you know even said, I mean? though, so but he did say, go ahead. He's like, leave, 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 turn around and leave. So, like, yeah. he, he did what he didn't. Like, it, it, I guess he didn't know what it is. But, you know, luckily for us and the show, they obviously he let him in mm-hmm. um, or he's going to be letting him in. And then we're going to get that. So, um, so that, I mean, that's basically there are a couple of things. Uh, I just wanted to make a note. I made a note of Carol uh, taking yeah. out, like, Taking, you know, taking a crack at Ed's corpse, uh, she really unloads on him, and I was mm-hmm. thinking to myself, that's probably like that was probably like really cathartic for her, you know, like a way to just get some closure at that point, you know, like and she can she can now she be, will now be able to become the Carol that we know. Well, not present. until well, we have we have to her. well just the, I mean and, baby steps, but yeah, but that that was the first step she in she her no becoming. She no longer has yeah right Ed. Yeah, to tell her what or or what not to do. Yep. And lastly, 
just a, a a note like that kind of pissed me off. Like, so Morales left on his own with his family. Like yeah. he left on his own. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. why in this season was he all pissed off at Rick? Like, what the hell is his problem? Like, it was like you left. I don't. I mean, I don't exactly remember the conversation between him and Rick this season, but season eight. But like, what the hell was his problem? Like, the hell was your deal? Do you you're mad because your family died? You're the idiot that decided to leave. That's true. On your no, that's own. True. I can't recall exactly what was. But he was mad at him. Sad, I mean, so, right? The, yeah. No. Obviously, he put it maybe because he took out the the the, the bunch of the people there or something. I yeah. Don't, like I, he was just like, I, oh, I like, why are you so freaking? You don't even. So like you, you don't even know what happened after that. You just know what mm-hmm. all of a sudden what Negan and the Saviors were saying about Rick. Yeah. And you and he, I don't know whatever. Just that whole thing is that's just true. Dumb. Anyway, <laughs> um. Yeah, so look, I, I covered everything I wanted to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I'm looking around. I mean, I really don't see. I mean, some of the Walker stuff was pretty cool. That's I had, you know, my little Walker category. I think the Amy stuff I said before. That was Amy probably pretty good, cool. Yep. Oh, let me ask you this. How about when Amy was first kind of looked like she was going to, like, touch Andrea's face and these kind of well, things? Well, that was – And what then all of a sudden she just – Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It. That's so that – the, uh, the awakening – yeah, how it is like that. We, you know, episode episode five is when we got that the mm-hmm. first time we ever saw something mm-hmm. like that, and and this is something that we haven't really touched upon since. And yeah. then that's why these are so good, and like it's really good to go back and watch this to be like, ah, oh, this is where it all came. Oh, from. Oh, it's great. Know? No, it's great. You know, yeah. the CDC scene when they were first arriving to the CDC and they had to take out some of the walkers, and it was just cool to see the front that the that the government had put up, and you saw the yep. little barracks and all the the walkers and the fly thing. And I the think fly that's why people that. kind of fell off with the show is that it kind of like they went away from that and just stayed in the damn woods especially season four like uh, like they were just in the woods man the whole time you know like everyone's in the woods following the railroad tracks and like you know i guess that's some i feel like that's where people start it started to fall off for people you know but look yeah Listen, hey, another, we, another day, another time. Yeah, another we're, exactly. We're on it. We're all over it. This is the last. We have one more episode to go in season one, and then uh, yeah. another couple of weeks, and we've got the the, the, the season eight's coming back. So yeah, thank you guys very much for commenting and, and enjoying these shows. Um, you know, every we've been getting tons of comments saying, you know, oh, you know, glad you're rewatching it and this and that, and you know, yeah, so, a, lot of, a lot of people saying that they've been rewatching, you know, because of these and getting back into that's the awesome. Time the classic yeah. the classic episodes but of course like chris said the comments below write them down in the youtube third person pod don't forget to check us out on instagram and facebook and of course you can have a listen to us on itunes at third person pod that's right so again thank you guys for the support thanks for commenting um and we got one more to go for season one so uh yeah, stay excited. tuned and we'll see you guys next week thanks